Jake Paul reveals how Logan Paul hurt his career. Shane Dawson exposes a YouTuber's relationship in a new video. Plus, Corinna reacts to Elle Mills getting slammed on social media. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life, starting with Elle Mills. The YouTuber took to Twitter the other day to show off her new tattoo, and the haters had a field day. Logan Paul tweeted his approval, but many other Twitter users bashed her, saying she's trying way too hard to be funny. And trust me, the replies in that thread get worse the more you scroll. Corinna tweeted about all the backlash, asking people to stop hating on Elle for no reason. In another tweet, Corinna said, I understand a lot of influencers on this platform can be assholes, myself included, but but to hate on someone who literally just minds their own business and isn't problematic makes my blood boil. It's literally impossible not to offend someone these days. Elle innocently got a tattoo of the word tattoo and triggered thousands. How? How, Sway? But okay, after two weeks of no videos, Rice Gum returned to continue his jealousy series, and this time he reads Abby's DMs. Right off the bat, Rice discovers a sexual message sent to Abby that really upset him until he found out it was sent from a little boy. So this is how we finna start. Don't be with Rice Gum, be with me, I give you the D. If you were in elevator, I would want to go down on you tonight. Oh my gosh, click on the person. <sighs> These dudes coming after my girl. Yo, it's a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally a child yo, though. Yo, who taught him how to talk like that? He kind of got some game. He kind of got some game. Ooh. That kid's parents need to pay more attention and take his phone away ASAP. But okay, from jealousy to conspiracy, Shane Dawson dropped his highly anticipated second part to his documentary yesterday, and now I am questioning my childhood. In this continuation, Shane tackles the dangers of voice mimicking software, Chuck E. Cheese is reusing Ani in pizza, and the dark side of Brittany Louise Taylor's previous relationship. Following the release of the first part of the doc, we guessed that the couple being exposed might have been Jenna Marbles and Julian, but we were wrong. In Shane's lengthy interview with Britney, we found out a lot of scary things about the father of her son Rex and come to the very real conclusion that she might have almost been a human trafficking victim. Unfortunately for fans, there's no indication that there will be a part three, so I guess it's time to just patiently wait for Shane's next adventure. Moving on to Jake Paul, the vlogger dropped a new video yesterday titled, Dear YouTube, I've been hiding this from you. And I swore that it would be clickbait, but I was wrong. In the video, we get a closer look at what's really been going on with Jake and what his goals are for the future. Last month, JP promised that Jake Paul Uncut would return on February 1st, and in this video, we discover why the series never came back. The Jake Paul Uncut thing like became like too real for a lot of the parties involved, and a lot of the parties involved didn't want to have like that much realness or that much like content about their lives out there on social media because they wanted to like live their life off of social media. Although Jake doesn't specifically name the people who asked him to stop the series, he does bring out how Logan Paul's controversy stopped another one of his shows from coming out. At Loving Rick asks, that YouTube show that you filmed, where is it? Basically, long story short, it's not gonna be coming out. They thought it wasn't like the right show for the right time for where YouTube Red was at the space. However, I feel like they were just being like, not discriminate, I don't know what the right word is, but uh, at the time, like Logan's controversy and all this stuff was going on, so I felt like they were like, oh, we can't like support Logan Paul's brother, so we're not gonna pick up this this show, uh, which sucks. And I've been dealing with that type of all year. It's clear that Jake isn't happy about certain deals falling through because of people like Logan, but with his own share of legal issues and controversy, I'd say it's good that he's not completely blaming others. The unfortunate reality is that because they're brothers, they're going to have to deal with inheriting each other's negative press. I'm always positive about them though, so they never have to worry about me. But hopefully this year, they turn it all around. I hope that they get into this topic when Jake is finally a guest on Impulsive later this month. But all right guys, hit the sub, like, and bell button. Comment if you let your significant other read your DMs and follow me on social media at Ali Stegnita. Bye guys.